My revolution begins in the body. It isn't waging anymore. My revolution does not need approval or permission. It happens because it has to happen in each neighborhood, village, city, or town, at gatherings of tribes, fellow students, women at the market, on the bus. It may be gradual and soft. It may be spontaneous and loud. It may be happening already. It may be found in your closet, your drawers, your gut, your legs, your multiplying cells, in the naked mouth of taut nipples and overflowing breasts. My revolution is swelling from the insatiable drumming between my legs. My revolution is ready to die for this. My revolution is ready to live big. My revolution is overthrowing the state of mind called patriarchy. My revolution will not be choreographed, although it begins with a few familiar steps. My revolution is not violent, but it does not shy away from the dangerous edges where fierce displays of resistance tumble into something new. My revolution is in this body. In these hips, atrophied by misogyny. In this jaw, wired mute by hunger and atrocity. My revolution is connection, not consumption. Passion, not profit. Orgasm, not ownership. My revolution is of the earth and will come from her, for her, because of her. It understands that every time we frack or drill or burn or violate the layers of her sacredness, we violate the soul of our people. My revolution is not ashamed to press my body down on her mud floor in front of banyan, cypress, pine, callion, oak, chestnut, mulberry, redwood, sycamore tree. To bow shamelessly to shocking yellow birds and rose blue setting skies, heart exploding purple bougainvillea and aqua sea. My revolution gladly kisses the feet of mothers and nurses and servers and cleaners and nannies and healers and all who are life and give life. My revolution is on its knees, on my knees to every holy thing and to those who carry empire-made burdens in and on their heads and backs and hearts. My revolution demands abandon. Expects the original, relies on troublemakers, anarchists, poets, shamans, seers, sexual explorers, tricksters, mystic travelers, tightrope walkers, and those who go too far and feel too much. My revolution shows up unexpectedly. It's not naive, but believes in miracles. It cannot be categorized, targeted, branded, or even located. Offers prophecy, not prescription. Is determined by mystery and ecstatic joy. Requires listening. Is not centralized, though we all know where we're going. It happens in stages and all at once. It happens where you live and everywhere. It understands that divisions are diversions. It requires sitting still and staring deep into my eyes. Go ahead. Love.